okay, uh, the next characteristic is namely parametric characteristic, which is known as the state of the art technique in conflict testings. Uh, as you can see, this was my research work presented in, in ICSI 2018. So let me explain this technique in a little bit more detail. Uh, my work came from the curiosity about these questions. As we learned so far, many different heuristics have been proposed in symbolic execution or conclave testing literatures. So my question is, so which existing heuristic is the most effective for increasing code coverage or find bugs? So you have learned the key idea of each heuristic, so pick one that is likely to be effective. See if this heuristic or generation search or CGS or DFS or BFS. Uh, at the beginning of my research, I thought that the context guided search CGS heuristic would be the best compared to the existing search heuristics. But as a result, we found that there is no search heuristic that consistently achieve high branch coverage on arbitrary open source C programs. I will explain this observation using these two graphs. Uh, this graph shows the average performance of the existing search heuristic in the same testing budget. So the x-axis means the number of program execution and the y-axis represent the number of covered branches. And at BIM, which is the text editor program, uh, CFDS heuristic work quite well, but at XPAD XML parser program, the performance of CFDS heuristic is very poor. On the other hand, CGS is very nice in XPAD, but in BIM, CGS heuristic is very poor. And this phenomenon also occurred in other open source C programs. Uh, second observation is that manually designing user heuristic is highly non-trivial. I also bring an interesting evidence for the second observation. A single user heuristic can generate one graduate student. This is a realistic joke because if we succeed in designing a new search heuristic in symbolic execution, you can go to top conference like ICSI, ASC. But that is, manually creating new search heuristic is very difficult, and this new heuristic does not even work well on arbitrary programs. And that is my research motivation from this work. So in this work, the goal is to automatically generate a heuristic for a given program using machine learning techniques. So our tool takes on C program as an input and automatically generate a good search heuristic for testing that programs. So for example, when our tool takes BIM editor and it returns an effective search heuristic for BIM and taking XPAD then returns a good characteristic for testing expect automatically. And to achieve this goal, uh, we use the uh, two key ideas. First, we parameterize a search heuristic and we propose the new parameter search algorithm specialized to uh, conclude testings. And this is the preview of my experiment result for our approach. Yeah, our automatically generated search heuristic for each program can consistently achieve the highest branch coverages. And our statistics can also find the real performance bug in two open source programs. Uh, for example, the input we found in grep can trigger the error in the recent grep versions. So if you're wondering whether this simple input can trigger the real error, just type it in your laptop or your desktop. Then you can see this error message on your laptop and it will no longer work. So anyway, uh, let me explain the detail of our techniques. <clears throat> okay, uh, to achieve our goal, the first key idea is to parameterize our heuristics. 
uh, generally, the existing search heuristic can be defined selecting a branch in an execution path. And our parametric search heuristic determines which branch to select by this parameter value theta. So our heuristic can transform the original problem generating good search heuristic into the reduced problem finding a good parameter theta. And using the parameter theta, we can calculate each branch score in the execution path, and we simply choose the top scored branches. So let me explain how to score each branches using the parameter value theta. <clears throat> uh, to score the branches, first, we represent each branch as a feature vectors. Uh, in our work, a uh, feature is a Boolean predicate on branches. For example, one of the feature checks whether the branch is in the main function or whether it is a true branch of case statement or, or not. So suppose that the branch one, B1, is in the main function, but it is uh, not a true branch of case statement. So the branch one will be marked as one and zero. In this work, we have designed uh, 40 features. We can classify 40 features into static and dynamic features. The static feature can be extracted without executing a program. For example, we can statically know whether the branch is true branch of loop or not. And dynamic feature can be only extracted by actual program execution. For example, without execution, we do not know whether the branch is newly covered in previous execution or not. So using these predefined 40 features, we can transform all branches in the current execution path as a feature vectors. And after transformation, we can score the branches. For example, suppose that a five dimension parameter value is like that then we can simply score the branches by calculating a linear combination of feature vector and the parameter value set. And finally, we choose the P2 with the highest score. So the branch selection in our parametric search heuristic is completely determined by the value of parameter. So finding good one is crucial in our works. And a very simple approach for this is to use random sampling algorithms. This approach randomly samples the parameters and evaluate the coverage of each parameter and returns the best parameter for a given time budget. Uh, but we found that this naive algorithm failed to find good parameter in reasonable time because the search space of four dimensional vector is intractably large. So we need an effective parameter search algorithm specialized to conclude testing. So the key idea of our algorithm is to iterate, iteratively refine the sample search space via feedback. So our algorithm repeats uh, three steps, find, check, and refine. So before starting our algorithm, the 40 sample spaces uh, are initialized as a real number between minus one and plus one. Then in the first stage, we randomly samples a thousands parameter values in initialized sample space and evaluate the performance of uh, each parameter such as branch coverages. And according to their branch coverage, we choose top 10 parameters. The intuition of the first stage is finding good candidate parameters quickly. And in second stage check, we choose the top two parameters having the best average performance over 10 trials. This step is needed to rule out unreliable parameters and find some stable ones. So, and in final stage, we refine 40 sample space based on the top two uh, parameter values. Suppose that these top two parameter values are like that. 
look at the first sample space. These parameters are all positive, so we positively refine the sample space. As a result, the first sample space is changed as the real number between uh, 0 0.3 and 1. And if, if the value in the sample value is used as positive one in both top two values, it describes the this branch feature that should be more explored. And look at the second sample space. Uh, in this case, these values are all negative, so we negatively refine the sample space. So the second sp sample space is changed as the real number between minus 1 to uh, minus 0 0.2. When the sign of two values in different is different, so we do not refine the sample space. After refining each sample space, uh, and we start find stage again. Uh, but in this time, we randomly sample the parameter in this refined sample space. Okay, in this way, we iteratively refine each sample space and the guide to the search to continuously find on optimal parameters. Okay, let me present the experiment result. Uh, we implemented our approach in Crest, a concrete testing tool, and we compared our heuristic with five existing heuristics, and we used 10 open source C programs widely used in concrete testing researchers. Uh, in this evaluation setting, we use the same initial input for program for fair comparison, and we use the same testing budget as of 4,000 program executions, and the performance of each statistic is averaged over 100 trials. And this is one of the, my main results. This graph shows that the average performance of each statistic on six large benchmarks, and our heuristic are popular uh, and consistently achieve the highest branch coverage on all, brand, all benchmarks. And according to Re Rilkoch signed length test, these results are statistically significant on all benchmarks programs. And our generated heuristic can be reused over multiple subsequent programs. For example, we train a search heuristic on GAWK 3.0.3 and applied it to the subsequent version until GAWK 3.1.0. As you can see, our registry can achieve the highest coverage over multiple versions. And the effective minutes uh, lasted for four years for GAWK and we obtained similar result for set. And we also report the time for automatically generating a statistic for each program. Uh, when we ran our algorithm in parallel using uh, 20 cores generating each statistic, took uh, three hours for small, small programs and to a uh, one day for a large programs. Also, we make our tool publicly available, and this is the last page of for this lecture. So this is the full name of our tool, and this picture is hinted. So can you guess the name of our tool? Just for fun. <clears throat> yeah, our tool name is Paradise. So, and this is GitHub URL, and you can download and use it if you want. Okay, let's sum up the third lecture of white box testing. First, we learned that the past explosion is an open challenge in dynamic symbolic execution. And the search heuristic is a key component for mitigating this past explosion problem by prioritizing the execution paths that are likely to find bugs or maximize code coverages. Uh, okay, uh, thank you everyone for watching this lecture. So see you next week. So goodbye.